Hey, uh, does anyone have a pen? I loaned you my last one ten minutes ago. Well, do you have another one? No. Rithu, do you have- Nope. I can literally see it sticking out of your apron. I'm not letting you lose it. I'll give it right back. I just gotta write this one thing down. Ooh. This is a nice one. Of course it is. It's a Bastion. Bolt action pen. I have like five and they're all different colors. So you won't be mad if I lose it. I will stab you with it. Give it back. Give it. No, mine. It's mine. Use the promo code in the description of this video to get 20% off. Hey, no biting. What are you doing? We don't have any customers or DoorDash orders, do we? Hmm? Oh, nah, I'm making myself a pumpkin spice latte. Tis the season. Wah. I know. I'm a basic bitch. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Basic means you like something purely because everyone else likes it. So if you like something because you genuinely enjoy it, no matter how popular it is, then you're fine. But we will still make fun of you. Mercilessly. Yes. You know, people never made fun of pumpkin spice anything until women really started getting into it. Uh, I thought it was because it tastes like ass and yet still got blown out of proportion. The craze definitely got a bit overhyped, but there's a bunch of sexism wrapped up in there too. Are those pumpkin scones? Pumpkin scones and muffins, I've also got apple scones and muffins and maple scones and muffins, and I'm gonna go feral with the Halloween stuff. I'm thinking brownies with like a candy gravestone on one end and then gummy worms cooked into it. Ghost and pumpkin cookies, obviously. No werewolves or vampires, please God. Of course not, I'm not a racist, but I am gonna be playing around with candy corn. <laughs> please be racist. Fight me. No fighting in my cafe. Cyrus, would you make me one of those pumpkin spice lattes, please? Seriously? Did not peg you for the type. Pumpkin spice is merely a combination of cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves, all of which have been used in some combination and variety for centuries. I was enjoying it generations before it was cool. Well, I think we just got put in our place. You get used to it. Welcome to the new and improved Cafe Latte. I'm just about to pull a batch of muffins out of the oven. If you want to wait just two minutes for that, you look weirdly familiar. I once visited the old location. Is the fairy sorceress in? Uh, yeah, give me a sec. Bob? Inside joke. Good morning, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. Um, I don't know if you recognize me, but you cursed me a little while ago. You're gonna have to narrow that down. Okay, well, I was being a bit of a sexist asshole. <clears throat> I know you think you're helping, but I really do need you to narrow it down further. So the curse was that I would be bad at traditionally masculine skills, but good at traditionally feminine ones. Oh yeah, and you also thought that the drink should be gendered? Yep, that was me. I did try some of the girlier drinks afterwards way too sweet. I don't understand how anyone can like them, but whatever, that's not what I'm here for. That curse was supposed to last you a whole year. I assume you're looking for an early reprieve? No, I was actually hoping for an extension. <clears throat> this is quite a rarity. Well... <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, at first it was definitely a curse. I worked at an auto repair shop at the time, and all of a sudden I sucked at my job, so I got fired. But then that turned out to be a bit of a blessing because the place was toxic as all hell. It really fed into that whole sexist ideology that I'm still trying to break down. Still caused a lot of stress back home, obviously. Luckily, my wife had a job to help support us while I searched, and I found myself spending a lot of time with my kids while searching for a job from home, and it turns out that child rearing is a traditionally feminine skill. Ah. And look, I wasn't a bad dad before this. Maybe a four on a scale of one to ten? But the girly stuff like empathy, conflict resolution, raising and comforting kids, that that's on an eleven. Now, I can't play catch with them like I used to, but we're closer than we've ever been, especially with my daughters, which is funny because one of them is now way better at sports than I am or will ever be. Uh, my son is happier too because he doesn't feel pressured to be all macho. The kids at school call him a soft boy, but it's not an insult. 
My marriage is great. And I really, really don't want to lose that. Any of it. So we accidentally gave you a superpower and it's being a house husband? Well, no, I still had to pick up a job to help pay the bills. Fucking inflation, you know how it is. Although we haven't had to go clothes shopping for a while now because I'm weirdly good at making clothes, even before I started at Joanne Fabrics. They want me to start running classes there now, and because I'm also now good at cooking, I can make really tasty stuff out of stupidly cheap ingredients. Oh, that's a life skill. Frozen vegetables with ramen noodles? Yeah, with my own seasoning and sauce, rather than the explosive death ball of salt that they give you. So, as I mentioned when you were originally cursed, the skills you are picking up are not dependent on my magic. The more you practice them, the more you yourself get good at them. My magic is essentially acting as training wheels for those skills, and as a monkey wrench for the masculine skills. Precisely. However, luckily for you, I have settled into my domain enough that I can start enchanting people without the use of their names. I will let you keep the training wheels for another year while removing the monkey wrench on schedule. Yes! Thank you! Magic tip jar suddenly appearing. I'll add to that after I get a small black coffee. Sure you don't want a more feminine drink? Pumpkin spice, maybe? Yeah, let me just tear out my tongue first. Dicks. All right, I just restocked all of the baked goods, so you should be set for the rest of the day. If you're not, there's plenty of dough in the back for all of our best sellers. They're all in the fridge with the blue door, and I assume you labeled each and every one of them, probably with the exact page number in the recipe book, so we know exactly how much batter goes into a single serving. We've got this. Now go on, chew, you don't want to be late for class. It's your college thing, isn't it? Yeah, part-time uh, community college program for a bacon and pastry certificate so I can better pretend to know what I'm doing. Catch you later. Have fun. Welcome to Cafe Latte. Sorry to say that you've caught the newbie, so you're going to have to bear with me here. What can I get for you? Um, sorry, I just, I have to lean on the counter for a little bit. Oh, you got new snacks. Hey, you, Yeah, you're in handicapped parking. Yes. And you're clearly not handicapped. You're walking just fine. Ma'am, it is none of your business. It's illegal. I'm calling the cops. Ma'am, I have arachnoiditis. That means I've got problems with my nervous system and chronic pain. Walking and driving short distances is fine. Anything longer than the trip from the curb to the counter is gonna cause issues. I've never even heard of that, and you don't look sick. Have you not heard of invisible disabilities? What? Not every disabled person looks disabled, and none of us owe you our medical history in order to deserve some basic human respect. Well, no, but if you had just led with that. In one ear and out the other, I see. Now, you've made an ass of yourself? Now go sit down and shut your mouth. Now, before I make you sit down. You, sir. Do you need to sit down, too? At this point, yeah, I kind of do. Go take a seat right over there, holler when you're ready to order. We'll bring you your food and drink. What, I don't get waited on? Not if you're gonna act like a bitch, no. I am so confused. She's always been so nice and sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how they get you. The sweeter the cinnamon roll, the more vicious the cinnamon roll. What you got there, Cyrus? Uh, drinking game, do or drink. I ordered it for a Halloween party, but it showed up early. I think I'll debut it for one last big summer cookout before we're all buried in snow. A new drinking game? What is it? Yeah, you draw a card, you do what it says on the card. If you refuse, you instead take a shot. On the count of three, everyone points to the player they think is most likely to end up 40 single and with eight cats. Um, about... Publicly Venmo the player to your left one cent with the caption kissing lessons or drink twice. Uh, what else dare I ask? What's one of these red ones? Dance on the table to a song of the group's choice for at least 30 seconds. Do this, take two shots, or quit playing. Can we replace the drink part with literally anything else? Sure, you can do a pump of coke. Or heroin, crack, opium, pick your poison, I can hook you up. You're not funny. I remember when the most risque thing to happen on Halloween was sexy costumes and maybe a bit of ghost summoning. I know, what happened to good old-fashioned trick-or-treating? I think COVID killed it. 
Or at least mortally wounded it, and now it's kind of limping along and bleeding out. Well, I ain't letting that go without a bang. I'll bring snacks to Cyrus's boozy party, JC can host a clean party in actual spooky season. Sold! We'll have cupcakes a nightmare before Christmas. So, you're part of Cyrus's book club? Yeah, me and Patrick, and the Tooth Fairy, but she couldn't make it today. She's got a lot of prep work before all the kitties lose their teeth to sugar season. Why didn't JC come to this little drink fest? They and Cyrus are thick as thieves. I don't know. Uh, JC's pretty upfront about being a recovering addict, so they avoid boozy parties. And thus, they are one of the more sensible of the cafe latte staff. Pusnia, will you be partaking in this game? Sure, but I'll probably tap out early. I have three rugrats at home. Wait, really? I thought Muslims couldn't drink. Yes, just like we can't pay interest, gamble, or be queer. And yet me wearing a hijab doesn't get me out of bank fees. Yeah. Alright, do or drink. We start with a white card. If it says draw, then we pick up from the black and red pile. If we successfully complete the challenge, we keep that card and tally up the points at the end of the game. Black cards are worth one point, red cards are worth two. Okay. Drink if you are the oldest player. And then we should have talked Bob into this. Are we going clockwise? Yeah, sure. The asshole who brought this game to the party has to drink. Well, if they also happen to be the party's host, they must finish their drink. Well, hold on. I thought fairies, vampires, and werewolves had greater constitutions than humans. <sighs> yeah, that's why we got the fae strength booze, which humans probably shouldn't touch unless you guys want to go into a coma. Ah. Drink if you are straight. <sighs> Wait, not you, Husnia? I may have married a man, but that was just luck of the draw. I'm pansexual. Seriously? Wow, was my gator busted. Free pass. Keep this card and use it whenever you do not want to drink or be kind and donate it to another player in their time of need. I will not be kind. Oh, draw a black card. Okay. Sit on the lap of the person to your right for the next round, or drink twice. Well, that's one way for me to die. Do I keep the card if I do the drink instead? No. Oh, that is oppression. You are persecuting the straight minority, as usual. I'm sure we can negotiate letting Kenny sit on Patrick's lap instead. That's fair. Yeah, it's a little too early to be making ER visits. Sold! Sit cross-legged, Patrick. It'll be more comfy that way. Draw a black card. Pick someone to act out this sex position with, or both of you must finish your drinks. What? No, it doesn't say that. That is a very informative diagram of a sex position. Right when I just got comfortable. Rethu, would you do me the honors? Oh, pfft. Sure, but I'm keeping the tail in the wings. That's the whole reason I chose you. Are you alright, Patrick? Yep. Are you sure? As the person sitting on his lap, I can confirm that he is totally fine with us. Alright, my turn. We're all a little old for sex ed class. Draw from the black pile. Alright. Shit, it's red. Take a shot off the purse... Yeah. Take a shot off the belly of the person on your left. Both of you must do this or quit playing. Shit, we got this down to a science during that trip to Vegas. Scoot off for a sec, Kenny. Okay, I know Husnia wasn't scheduled to work today, but where's Cyrus? He called in sick. Fairies can get sick? Fairies can get hungover. So can dragons, but we're not pussies about it. Grab one of the muffins. They're full of yummy carbohydrates, and it'll also make you thirsty so you drink more fluids. Chamomile tea will be more effective than coffee in that regard. Good morning, how can I help you? I'd like a cappuccino, please. What size? Size? No, there's only one size. That's how it's done in Italy. Are you in Italy? No, but I just visited. Since you are not in Italy, you can select one of the three sizes that we have. Okay, but I'm just saying, since you're a cafe, you should be doing it the Italian way. I am way too hungover for this shit. So coffee actually originated in Africa, specifically Ethiopia, and the cafes were popularized in the Middle East. 
before making their way over to Europe, and were initially banned for a few centuries because the only other alternative was bars and taverns, and a drunk population is a lot easier to control than a sober one that's starting to get enlightenment ideas. So you shouldn't be using Italy as your state of measurement. Or anywhere other than the country that you are currently standing in. So you just dropped the history lesson for shits and giggles? Oh yes, the history of coffee is fascinating, especially the dichotomy of cafes being centers for enlightenment ideals, while the harvest of coffee beans themselves utilize slave labor and the cruel oppression of millions of people. Then I was wondering when the racism would show up. <sighs> small, I'll just take a small cappuccino.